Fit and 50 here, episode two of our uh, diet plan, how to make your own diet plan and nutritional plan. If you haven't seen episode one, click up here, check out episode one on calories. It talks about calorie counting, the amount of calories you need to uh, accomplish your goals and portion control. Once you've uh, watched that one, come right on back here. We're gonna learn about how to uh, figure out your body fat percentage so that we can learn what our lean body mass is and we need to know what our lean body mass is so that we can kick that excess body fat in the ass. It sounds like I said access, excess body fat in the ass. Okay, so now the first way I like to use actually, and this is probably the way I use the most, are these cheapy Walmart calipers. And uh, I might throw a picture of it up on the side here so you can see the packaging better. But it's just these little AccuMeasure things. They've got this little tab that slides. You put it as far side here, right up against that far side. Uh, away from the press and then when you use them you find your belly button you go straight across from your belly button to that crevice and you take a pinch and then you press until you hear a click and then you look and that says about three so when you come over here and you look in the list and you see two to three you come down to your age, I'm 51, and it says 8.8. .8. So it's approximating my body fat to be about 8.8%, .8%, which I think is reasonably close. You're going to be within a couple percent. So really, I could be almost 11% body fat. Uh, the second way I like to use is this handheld body fat monitor. These things really get a bad rap, but if you use them properly, they're usually within a couple percent. Um, you need to use them like two hours after eating. One of the best times to do it is first thing in the morning before you've had anything to eat or drink. Uh, it's usually one of the best times to do it. I've uh, been almost you know three hours now since lunch and I haven't had very much to drink. So we're going to give it a try here now. And uh, when you set it up, it lasts with your athlete or your normal. I put in uh, athlete. It asks for your height. Put my height in. Your weight your age, which is 51, whether you're male or female. And then when you uh, set it up here, you gotta make sure you cover these two bars and put your thumb right up like that. Push to start. And then we just gotta wait. You can check out my full hawk with my full hair. It's totally falling apart. Didn't work like I thought it would, but what the hey, thought I'd do it anyway. Okay, so there, that actually came out. I'm gonna move this toward the camera. Just let me know when I'm getting close enough that you can read it. Okay, so there we are. So it shows me at 8.7%, which is virtually identical to what the calipers said. Um, that doesn't usually work out that close. That's kind of a fluke, but it worked out for the video, so that's cool. But that's not usually works out that, that's like I say, it doesn't usually work out that close. So I gotta quit stuttering on that. And we're gonna move to the third way, and that is to compare our shape with pictures of established body fat levels. So the first one I'm gonna put up there is 5 to 8%. See if I can fix my full hawk a little here. Uh, at five to eight percent, I've been down there. It is a tough job to maintain that level of lean. Uh, you're always in a calorie deficit. You're not getting the best out of your training because you just don't quite have the energy. But you got that fitness model lean going on. Now the next level is nine to thirteen. That's the level I'm in now, and I can maintain this level quite comfortably. When you read the article that I took these pictures from. For muscle and fitness, I'll put it in the description below. You'll see that they say this is difficult to maintain. I disagree. As a matter of fact, I had ice cream for dessert with my supper last night. You have to keep everything within reason, but if you understand what you're doing, you can maintain this level of lean. Now, the next uh, level of fitness after that, or level of fitness, level of body fat is uh, 14 to 17 percent. Now, there you've got the morning abs going on. Um, when you're taking your shirtless selfie, you got to pay a little more attention to the lighting so that your detail will show, but it is there. You're just not as vascular as the 9 to 13 range. You're not quite as cut. Then the next range after that is the 18 to 20 percent range, and in this range here, you're pretty smooth, but you're still athletic looking. You've still got the broad shoulders. You still would could be considered lean, but you're smooth. Not a bad way to go for a lot of people. Uh, but with that in mind, those are our three levels. And what you need to do to figure out lean body mass 
is you need to, once you've got your percentage, you've decided where you fit, either by the pitchers or the calipers or the handheld. So let's say you're a 200 pound man and you're at 10% body fat. Well, 10% um, of 200 pounds is 20 pounds. So then you take the 200 pounds, subtract off the 20 and you get 180 pounds of lean body mass. So then that's the weight you're gonna to use to do all your calculations for your amount of protein and fat and carbs that you need. So with that in mind, if you found this information even remotely useful, click the like button, show a little love, um, subscribe if you want to find out more about how to set up your own diet plan, if you want to find out how I got into this shape, how I maintain this shape with my diet, uh, definitely subscribe, share it if you know somebody who is struggling or trying to accomplish this as well and would like to learn from a crazy guy who wears a wig and tries to make it look like a full hawk, but it does not work, but still does his video because he wants to get the work done, he wants to get the message out there, check it out. Alright, so this is Fit and 50, signing out, until the next one, keep working out, keep having fun, and we will talk to you soon.